day two. Um, would you believe it? I'm having GoPro issues again. I'm getting a SD card error on the camera. So I might have lost all my footage I done yesterday, but I won't know until I've got back home whether I can retrieve it or not. So this could be day one or it could be day two, but we're treating it as day two because it is technically day two. Um, so we spent the day in Tenerife, uh, did some footage walking around the town earlier on, but it's on the other memory card, so I might have it, I might not. Um, then I spent some time around the pool, and then I came back and, and chilled on the balcony for a bit. So, um, yeah, nothing really full on today, but you're on holiday, aren't you? So, yeah, but um, casual dress night tonight, polo shirt and, and chinos. Uh, oh, that's my shoe. Oh, my shoes. Um, but they, they've allocated me um, a set dining and a set table in the Peninsula, no, Oriental restaurant. But I don't want that. I want freedom dining. So I haven't had a chance to go down to the restaurant yet and change that to um, freedom. So I'm just going to stick with the buffet tonight because I've got a show to go to this evening as well. And I want to go and see one of the singers in the, in the bar that's doing a uh, Frankie Valley tribute. So that sounds quite good. So I'm hoping to go to that after the show finishes. Um, the show I'm seeing tonight is Real to Real, which I think is just songs being performed by the headliners, theater act of like movie songs and stuff like that. Um, that's how I understand it. Well, that's how I remember it from the last time I, I saw that show. So that is the plan for this evening. So get down to the buffet early, get fed, get out before the mad rush. Um, and then chill out for a bit. We got the um, safety announcement at eight o'clock, I think. Um, that's what the uh, officer from the bridge said about 20 minutes ago. I think it's eight o'clock tonight for all the people that boarded yesterday and today, because we're setting sail. Um, I think it's about half past nine this evening to go over to Madeira. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, like I say, this might be day one of the video on, on YouTube, but it's actually day two. So hopefully I've no more issues and I hopefully I can retrieve the footage from yesterday and this morning. But it is what it is, it's technology and that's just my luck with the technology. So I've reformatted this memory card three times before I started using it. So if it comes up with SD card error again, I'm gonna kick it out the bloody off the balcony, I think. Um, but yeah, uh, um, I'll catch you all later on.
to advise that at 8 o'clock today, which is in 30 minutes' time, the ship's alarm bells will be sounded and announcements made as all the newly embarked guests are familiarised with the ship's emergency procedures. The general emergency alarm consists of seven short blasts followed by one long blast on the ship's alarm bells and indicates that you need to go to your master station. During today's safety familiarisation, there is no need to attend your muster station, as you will have already attended during the embarkation process. You should, however, stop and take time to listen to the captain's instruction announcements being broadcast throughout the ship. Please be advised that for the duration of the safety familiarisation, all guest services will cease. Upon hearing the general emergency alarm during a real emergency, you should return to your cabin, collect your life jacket, flat shoes, warm clothing, a head covering, your cruise card, any medication you normally use before proceeding to your muster station. This familiarisation is carried out in accordance with international law and is a requirement that all the newly embarked guests participate. Good evening everyone, this is your captain, Captain Luca Voivoda. On behalf of us all at PNO Cruises, may we wish you a warm welcome on board. As your safety and well-being is our highest priority, we ask for your full attention. Normally, in order to respect your privacy, we do not broadcast announcements to your cabins. However, should you wish to hear all announcements, please leave your television on and tune to channel 1 with the volume turned up. The signal you heard a few moments ago was the general emergency alarm. It consists of seven short blasts, followed by one long blast on the alarms and is used to call you to your master station. It is not the signal to abandon ship. For today's safety finalization, there is no need to attend your master station, as you will have already attended during the embarkation process. If you hear this signal at any time, without having been warned that an exercise is taking place. Even if the ship is in port, you should go to your cabin, collect your life jacket, flat shoes, warm clothing, a hat covering, your cruise card, and any medication that you normally use. It is important that you are properly dressed to protect yourself should you need to abandon ship. Please also remember to bring your face covering. This is, however, not essential and there will be additional supplies <coughs> of face coverings not available at each master station. Then, carrying your life jacket, go to the master station using the route as shown on the safety notice on the back of your cabin door. Master stations are located in public rooms close to the survival craft and vacation deck. They are identified by large green master signs depicting a family group with the letter of the corresponding master station. Guides will be positioned on the stairways to direct and assist you. Walk quickly and quietly, keeping to the right-hand side. For guests who have informed us that they require additional assistance, dedicated crew will help you from your cabin to one of the master stations located on the survival craft and vacation deck. If you are not in your cabin at the time, you should proceed to the nearest stairway and notify the guide who will call for assistance. In the early stages of an emergency, you may be instructed to return to your cabin, where you will be accounted for by a steward. If you are prevented from returning to your cabin, go directly to your master station, where a spare life jacket will be provided. When you reach your designated master station, you should ensure you are checked in by master station staff. 
and then wait quietly for the instructions and information that will be broadcast over the public address system or given by the officer in charge of the station. If required, a roll call will be made. At all times in emergency, you must follow the instructions of the crew. In the unlikely event it is necessary to abandon ship, the order will be given from the bridge via radio and finally by the public address system. The crew will divide into groups and guides will take you from the master stations to the survival craft, which include the lifeboats and rafts, or to the gangways when in port. Persons requiring additional assistance will be helped into the survival craft in the final stages of embarkation. Should you smell smoke or discover fire, press one of the fire fire alarms situated around the ship. This warns the bridge and immediate action will be taken.